the Diddy. The Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. Oh! Diddy done turned over tapes. Allegedly, with the Carters, is some freak off. And the and and the ba- and the Beyonce high on the cocaine, and the tapes had jizz all over. Oh my God! Y'all gonna have to sit down for this. Come on in the room and get this fresh brew tea because Jaguar Wright just came out to expose some more crazy secrets, and these secrets are some of the craziest things we've heard in a long time, and we are absolutely shook. Y'all know how the feds have been allegedly trying to look into Jay Z into ties to Diddy's Rico case, right? Well, according to Jaguar Wright, we need to be prepared for the reports of that investigation because some shocking things will be brought to light, like how Jay Z and Diddy have been allegedly plotting to pimp out the Beyonce. According to Jaguar, Diddy has some scandalous videos of the Carters, and it was recorded without Beyonce's knowledge or consent. Y'all, the situation is crazy, but it might explain why Beyonce might be trying to leave Jay Z for these past couple of months. Jaguar Wright has spilled more tea on this, and y'all might need to hold on to your edges, because this is about to be a wild ride, and we don't want you to lose your bundles. That's crazy. Yep, yep. She's trying to uh, attach herself from Jay Z's hairstyle because she know that she can get implicated. So if yeah, she get the fucking bitch. Over some tapes that got her in it too. It makes sense. I was going to the brunch right and they canceled out. I'm sorry. Now, if y'all thought that we had somehow heard the absolute worst about things of Diddy and his secret actions, well, you better think again. Because Jaguar Wright just dropped some tea that is so crazy, it's gonna burn you if you're not careful. Diddy has been in the news and in a lot of trouble ever since Cassie sued him back in November. Then things got even worse when three more women came out to claim that he had been allegedly as saying them at different points, with one woman claiming that Diddy and his friends, including former bad boy president Harvey Pierre, allegedly s aid her when she was underage. Then Lil Rod came out with his own lawsuit a couple of weeks ago. This triggered an investigation by the feds. But y'all, things started to get worse, and we thought that it had hit its peak when Homeland Security bust down Diddy's doors in a coordinated raid spree a week and a half ago. But the raid was so precise and to the point that we immediately figured out that they were after some damaging information that they could use in their investigation into Diddy. According to some inside reports, the feds seized and confiscated most, if not all, of the electronics in Diddy's houses, including phones, laptops, computers, journals, and all that stuff. They did not come to play with Diddy, and from the way that they were moving and how precisely they planned it out, it was obvious that they knew what they were looking for and they had to get to it quick. And they had some clear targets, and with that kind of focus, you can bet your bottom dollar that they did their research and crossed every T and dotted every I and all that stuff. So if they were after Diddy's gadgets and gizmos, you know they're onto something massive, like next level massive. But after the raid, Diddy's lawyers came out to slam the feds and claim that they were just piling on Diddy and trying to cause drama for him and ruin his public image. His lawyer said, this unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and it's nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Well, the federal officer replied to this and said, we believe that there is a disturbing history of sex trafficking. We are responding to concrete, detailed, explicit allegations. This is not random. We didn't choose his name out of a hat. We had allegations that we're following up on. Now, like I said, we thought that the raid was going to be the messiest and most shocking part of all this because, well, what could be messier than Homeland Security raiding on one of the biggest celebrities in the world? Well, allegedly, an adult tape involving the number one power couple in the world, Jay-Z and Beyonce, apparently has been exposed. And y'all, when I tell y'all, I was shook when these allegations came out. According to reports, the feds were going through the electronics that they seized from Diddy's Miami and LA homes, and they found some pretty scandalous tapes and videos. Now this part wasn't that surprising because we all knew that the feds were going to find some damaging videos on his electronics based on some of the things that were alleged in the five lawsuits. 
that were claimed against him. I mean, Cassie and Little Rock claimed that Diddy both recorded their encounters when he was forcing Cassie to be intimate with ex-workers and during those parties that Little Rob was invited to. In Cassie's lawsuit, she laid it all out, alleging that Diddy would always record her whenever he, well, you know, did his stuff. She also dropped bombs claiming that he'd force her into hiring male ex-workers, push drugs her way, and then make her be intimate with these men while he watched, recorded, and got off on it. The court documents said Mr. Combs would use his phone, laptop, and tablet to film Miss Ventura having sex with the hired ex-worker. He treated the forced encounter as a personal art project, adjusting the candles he used for lighting to frame the videos he took. But y'all, it gets worse from there because according to Cassie, Diddy made multiple copies of every single video just to make sure that he had backup copies of the backup copies that he made of the videos. According to Cassie, she always tried to delete these videos he had of her because she didn't want these videos out there and she sometimes managed to delete them. But somehow, Diddy always found out that she had deleted them and he would recover the videos from one of his many backups. He would brag about how he had more copies of the videos and that the videos would always be with him, no matter how much he tried to delete them. The court documents said, while Miss Ventura quickly deleted any photographs or video of sex acts if they were taken on her phone, Mr. Combs repeatedly made it clear that he retained many videos of Miss Ventura during FOs. Even when she deleted the videos, Mr. Combs would tell Miss Ventura that he was able to recover deleted videos from her devices. On one occasion, he sat next to her on a flight and made her watch a video she thought she had deleted, reinforcing her inability to escape and the immense power he held over her. Interestingly though, Little Rod who sued Diddy last month also claimed that Diddy loved to record himself doing some illegal activities. According to the court documents, Mr. Combs required Mr. Jones to record him constantly. On several occasions, Mr. Combs took Mr. Jones' cell phone and began recording himself. As a result, Mr. Jones had secured hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings of Mr. Combs, his staff, and his guests engaging in seriously illegal activity. Now, y'all, why is Diddy so obsessed with filming himself when engaging in shady activities? Like, don't he know that's gonna be evidence? No, he really thought he was untouchable. It's almost like he was leaving a trail of breadcrumbs to help the feds get to him because it's so wild to imagine that he was recording that many illegal activities and then making multiple copies of the video. It's like he's practically begging to get caught and exposed because it just doesn't make no sense. But hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished because there's one interesting thing that Little Rod revealed in his lawsuit where he claimed that Diddy wasn't just filming himself in some weird activities because he was also filming other celebs as well. As y'all know, Diddy's parties have to be some of the most popular parties in all of Hollywood. And most of y'all's favorite celebs were at these Diddy parties at some point. According to Lil Rod, Diddy had set up cameras in every inch of his house y'all can bet that these cameras had mics on them as well. According to Little Rod, Diddy recorded every single thing that happened in his house, even in the private rooms and bathrooms. Little Rod's court document said, while living and traveling with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones discovered that Mr. Combs has hidden cameras in every room of his homes. Mr. Jones believes that Mr. Combs has recordings of celebrities, music label executives, politicians, and athletes. It also went on to say that these celebs in question didn't know what they were being recorded because Diddy didn't exactly present them with a consent form when they got into his house. And Rob went on to say, upon information and belief due to this treasure trove of evidence he has in his possession, Mr. Combs believes that he is above the law and is untouchable. Y'all, if this is true, it's absolutely messed up. But according to Lil Rod, the reason that Diddy set up the surveillance was that he wanted to have something to blackmail these celebs with whenever he needed to hold something over their heads. Now y'all remember how they said that everyone could see that the feds were going to find something incriminating in Diddy's gadgets? I mean, he allegedly straight up told Cassie he had multiple copies of those videos, so it was pretty much a given that something shady was going to be found on these electronics, but that none of us could ever predict in a million years what they would stumble upon. Now don't get me wrong, now when I say videos, we're not talking about family videos of them just drinking wine and being your favorite power couple. We're talking about TVMA type videos of Jay-Z and Beyonce getting down and dirty. Surfboard, surfboard, and all that stuff. Drop it like a thotty, drop it like a thotty. 
Y'all, I mean, drop a roll down the partition, please. You want to see Ayanta on her knees? Well, listen, let me tell y'all, I was shook when we heard this tea, because listen, Beyonce getting caught in compromising videos is something that I never thought we would hear. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but again, Jaguar Wright shared her two cents on this, and she confirmed that the feds allegedly have some video, and it's even worse than you could think. The Diddy, the Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. They didn't turn over tapes. Allegedly, with the Carters, is some freak off. And the and and the back and the Beyonce. How on the cocaine? And the tapes had jizz all over it. Hold on. Y'all, Beyonce getting caught in the act of this situation is absolutely crazy. But like Little Rod mentioned, Diddy probably held on to those videos as some sort of insurance policy. And are y'all ready for this to get worse? According to Jaguar Wright, Jay-Z allegedly knew that he was being recorded, but Beyonce didn't. So this means that Jay-Z and Diddy would have allegedly conspired to record Beyonce in a compromising situation. And honestly, if that's true, it's horrible. Knowing this, it kind of makes sense why there has been some talk for a while now about how Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage is strained and that she wants out. The rumor started after Little Rod dropped his lawsuit and talked about Diddy recording people. Allegedly, Beyonce could have put two and two together and figured out what was going on. From Jay-Z, just so she don't get implicated. That's crazy. Yup, yeah, yeah. She's trying to uh, attach herself from Jay-Z's hairstyle because she know that she can get implicated. So if yeah, she get the fucking bitch. With some tapes that got her in it too, it makes sense. I was going to the brunch. Well, y'all, I mean, this is all word on the streets and alleged receipts. But the streets have definitely been talking. And they believe in common saying, I always knew this man was up to no good like most celebrities are. Makes R. Kelly look small time. People are going to be missing on this and not coming back. And anyone seen partying with Diddy knew what was up. He said Jay-Z is the only person who can call him by his government name, which says a whole lot. Beyonce is not innocent either. Y'all, this whole situation is absolutely wild, but I need to know what y'all think about this. Do you think that there's recordings of Beyonce dropping like a thotty, dropping like a thotty? Or do you think this is all smoke and mirrors? Drop your thoughts and comments below and then check out this next video.